Hello and welcome to this quick tip from BlenderCookie.com. My name is Jonathan Williamson and what I'm going to show you today is how to import models or in fact any other element from another Blender file into your active scene. Now this is done through appending and or linking and I'll show you the difference between both of those but what this is really helpful for is being able to organize out all the different elements of your character or your scene or any other complex set that you're working on into all of its respective files based on all the different components to allow you to work on very specific objects at a time rather than trying to have to meander through the entire scene. So first off, I have a very just very very simple scene that I've set up here just with a simple set and what I want to do is go ahead and bring in another object to sit here in the center. Well, you know, I could go ahead and just create it from scratch, or I could go ahead and go to File and Import, but the difference with Import is Import only brings in files of different formats. I want to bring in something from an actual blend file. And so the way that this is done is through using the Append method. And so you can just go to Append or hit Shift F1, and upon doing so, you want to go ahead and navigate to your object. In this case, my object is this box.blend. So I'm just going to click on the .blend file. And when I do, I'm shown a list of all the different pieces of data that make up that blend file, including brushes for sculpting and painting, cameras, lamp, materials, mesh objects, objects, all the different elements that make up your blend file. Now, these all depend on what you want to bring in in terms of which one you want to click on. In this case, I want to bring in a model, which is a mesh object. So you may think, well, I want to click on mesh. Well, this isn't actually the case because if you were to just click on mesh and then choose the cube, which is the object that I'm looking for, it wouldn't at first appear as if it did anything. But in fact, it would just basically pull in the actual data for the mesh, but not place it within the scene. So instead, what we want to do is actually choose the object. And this is what you'll do anytime you want to pull in something like a lamp, a camera, or any other object within Blender, you're going to choose the object category. So let's just choose that, and you can see that within this file there's a camera, a cube, and a lamp. So I want to choose the cube, and then I can simply click link and append from library. What it's done is just brought that right in, and now I've got this model right in the scene as if I created it right in here. So this works very, very well. I can go ahead and position it maybe by just moving it up along the z-axis just a little bit, you know, right about there, and I'm good to go. But, you know, what if I wanted to go ahead and manipulate this model in its original file without having to re-import this every time. Well, this is where the linking method comes in. So I'm going to just go ahead and delete this and I'll save my file and then I'm going to go to file and link. And this time I'm going to choose my same cube object and just click link and append from library. Now, at first most things look the same except for one key point. And this is that the outline of the object, rather than being orange, is a nice light blue. And this shows that it's actually linked from an external file rather than being an actual real object within my current file. And this has become particularly noticeable. If you go and hit tab, it doesn't do anything. You're not able to enter edit mode within this object. In fact, you can't do any other modes except object mode, which you can go ahead. You, can, you can't actually do anything with it. You can't scale it, rotate it, anything. And so what this is, is basically a referenced object from my other file. And so in this case, I'm actually just going to go ahead and move this down just to about right there. But what if I want to go ahead and manipulate this? Well, let's just save this file and let's go ahead and open that other file. Just choose box.blend and open it. And maybe we'll go ahead and modify this. Maybe here in the center, we'll go ahead and select these, deselect these top portions. We'll go ahead and hit E to extrude, scale, shift Z so we're not scaling along the Z axis, and then we'll hit E and extrude, scale, and Z to scale it in towards the Z axis like that, so that we have a hole cut out on each side. Well, let's now just save this file and hit Control O and go back into our tip and append link file, and now you'll notice that that file has automatically been updated to include those changes. And so the link option allows you to bring in an object as a reference to it and have it automatically updated upon saving. The difference between linking and appending is appending goes ahead and brings in the actual object and just creates it within the scene, ignoring for all future purposes the original file that it came from. And so that's linking and appending in Blender, a very helpful and easy way to 
bring in objects in one of two different ways from external files to allow a much better organization or even just reusing of objects. This allows you to not only bring in mesh objects or data, but you can also bring in materials, brushes from other scope systems, just about anything within a Blender file, you can bring it in using linking and or pending.